Hello everyone, today I'll be discussing the topic of how many children have autism. Firstly, let's start off with discussing what is autism. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder associated with challenges in social communication and social interaction. It also often involves restricted and repetitive patterns of behavior. It largely involves difficulties in social conversations, the sharing of emotions, challenges in understanding social cues and facial expressions, and trouble maintaining or developing relationships. When it comes to restricted and repetitive behaviors, individuals with autism tend to have the need for routine or structure. They also have unusual reactions to pain and temperatures, excessive smelling and touching of objects, and are easily fascinated by lights and movement. They're also often overwhelmed with loud noises. Here are some facts about autism prevalence. In Canada alone, 1 in 66 children are diagnosed with autism, whereas in the United States, 1 in 54 children are diagnosed. Autism tends to be four times more common within boys than in girls, and about 1% of the world's population has been diagnosed with autism. Furthermore, 56% of children were diagnosed by age 6, and over 90% of children were diagnosed by age 12. The symptoms of autism vary in each individual, but is most commonly shown in children. Most children with autism may have trouble reaching developmental milestones at the same time as their peers. Some of the possible signs of autism in children include the following. No social smiles, joyful expressions, or no eye contact by six months of age. No vocal sounds or other non-verbal communication by nine months of age. No babbling or baby talk or use of gestures such as pointing, reaching, or waving, or does not respond to their name when called by 12 months of age. No formation of words by 16 months of age. And no formation of meaningful two-word phrases by 24 months of age. Healthcare professionals suggest that if your child is showing any of the possible red flags of autism, then you should visit your primary healthcare provider. Additionally, healthcare professionals suggest that all children should be screened by developmental disorders between ages 2 and 3. A typical diagnostic evaluation involves an interview and a play-based test which is usually done by psychologist or psych child psychiatrist. Although there is no cure for autism, a full diagnosis can guide parents and caregivers to their ideal treatment plan. Thank you for listening and for, for more information visit yourlearner.com.